Dear participators, my name is Philip Schwab. Welcome to our CATPLAN webinar stream. What you always wanted to know about Athena assembly groups. Today, I would like to create a FUDA assembly group with you in simple steps. For this, we have worked out a template. I opened this with our PDM system Kronos. Here in our model space, you see a top and a side view of our FUDA assembly group. With simple Athena 2D functions, you can create a technical drawing um, of your assemblies. Here we see a simple um, 3D model and on the left side an example with our finished um, FUDA assembly group. So a FUDA for the mullion with all um, processings, with the standard parts, um, with the steel plate and of course a special notching for the uh, membrane later. Let's take again a small overview to our technical drawings with the special labeling, the notching, all the details and the dimensions uh, we need to create a bus assembly. So now let's get into the Athena assembly editor. So I changed the size of the dialog box and options for a new assembly, opening, saving are in a familiar design. Also the library structure. So let's import the first component. So directly from the model space. So the steel plate, the slotted holes and also the holes for the mullion insertion profile. So I pick these four objects and the base point. So that's very important later to arrange the bar assembly to the profile. So now we imported the different objects directly into the assembly editor and we change uh, the level of the different objects. So I'm very happy to show you um, later some different possibilities to, um, to manage the different levels of the different objects. So we save the first component, give them a name and for example an item number and a designation, mullion footer plate. Okay? And now we have this component saved in our Folder. Here you can change the visual style and the view and you can see we have here our first 3D assembly group. Now we leave the first component and we pick the insertion profile as the second component and also the holes for the mullion processing. So here also we change the view. Here to this isometry and we give them a label name, mullion insertion. Then a item number. So it's a special Shuko item number. So because it's um, a Shuko profile. Okay. So now we have to give the contour a length. Ah, no, not on this not the position, so here the length, not minus 5, so 100 millimeter. Because in the model space it's only uh, two poly lines, so and we have to extrude them to our um, 100 millimeter length. So we change the position of the holes and we also save this second component of our assembly group. So it's MF 01.2, the right designation, mullion insertion, and also an item number. Okay. And also in our English assembly group folder. Now we're leaving also the second component and we create a compound part from our folder. So you can add 
um, different assemblies from your database and create um, compound parts. So we can illustrate this um, like um, blocks in AutoCAD, so blocks in blocks. You can add uh, assemblies, you can change the assemblies and create um, other new assembly groups. So, but um, of course, um, they are Athena 3D objects and um, it is very powerful and very intelligent. So we add here the screws for the mullion insertion also with our base point. The base point is our reverence point. We change the view and now we can see the screws are on the uh, right level. It's perfect. So now we add the screw joints. So from our model space. Add. And then, yes, we add these objects with our um, special holes for the mullion. Of course, you can um, add more objects at once, but I will show you this in a step by step how to create um, a bar assembly. Um, I think this helps you to understand how this Athena function works. So we do it in small steps. We also change the view and now we change the position of all the new objects. So the drilled holes and the screw joints. So here I um, insert 64 millimeters. So we have the dimensions also in the, um, in the model space in our technical drawing. But I can show you um, later, uh, we have different possibilities to change the position. So now we change the designation and the item. And of course you can add also special screw joints to your Athena favorite library. So you can add this quickly in your um, in your model space or for example here in the assembly editor. That's a big benefit to create your own screw joints, especially for your projects or different kind of constructions. So now we add a new part, so also um, a screw joint, so a Hilti anchor, and we insert it manually in the assembly editor. I copy the anchor four times and then I will show you how to change the position in a temporary model space. So that is a intuitive um, kind to um, yeah, change the position or insert parts in your to your assembly group. By the way, a big benefit for you if you need joining elements in your 2D um, technical drawings or in your 3D drawings or here in, um, in the assembly editor, you can take this also um, from our standard part library. We have almost 100,000 different um, standard parts, joining elements and special um, profiles and if you need um, anchors or different screws or, um, or profiles or semi-finished products you need in your special construction. And of course if you um, show our next webinar streams I show you more powerful Athena functions again and again. Okay, so we're finishing our, the positioning um, of the anchors and we change um, our um, view again. And now we have our complete bar assembly. And of course we save this also in our English folder. And the name is MF01. And the designation is footer plate or bracket 
complete. So it's the complete assembly group. And the item number is also MF01. Okay. So, okay. Well done. So we want to go back to our model space. So I have forgot something. So our notching for the mullion. So I insert some auxiliary lines. So on the edges of the country and here on the base point. So now we um, do an extrusion with a special Athena extrusion command. So we can use then um, yes, this extrusion um, for a processing or a notching in this case. So we give the object a name, mullion notch, okay. And now we have to rotate this extrusion to the right position. In this case, we move the object to the world coordinate system in the z-axis. Okay, and then we move it to our um, right position so that we move it to the base point to the mullion profile. Okay. So we open the assembly editor again. So we have here our uh, complete uh, footer assembly group and then we add or pick our Athena extrusion. And then also the base point is the reverence point of our assembly group. Okay, then we have here our processing or the notch for the mullion and we change the position to 86.5 millimeters. So we have also the dimension um, of the position in our technical drawing of our object. Now we can save the assembly. Uh, but first we have to change the operation. So it's a different operation. So because it's, it's a notching. So only the Athena drilled holes are automatically in the operation of difference. So it could be that you have a difference or it's also a part with a material. Okay, so now we can arrange our assembly group to the mullion. We use apply arrangement then we add a new assembly group. Here we have the arrangement manager. And then we take our new complete footer assembly group. Okay, and it's on the start of the mullion profile. So we have here different options, but we use only here to start and Athena generate the assembly group here to the profile. And we see the notch, the screw joints, the standard parts, the anchors, and the footer plate and the, the different components of our bar assembly group. So we can see here our result. Okay, it's it's in a complete view. So we have the possibility to, um, to use different, different display modes. Um, so it's uh, the detail. So the, it's, it's the, the detail view high or it's low. Um, so it's um, not necess necessary to show all the details of the bar assembly all the time. But here we see the result also, the holes, the processing for the mullion. Um, Yes, also the special holes on the bottom of the plate. 
Yes, and I think um, it's a very high detail assembly group. But um, for example, you want to export uh, this model um, as an IFC file, it's also possible to um, select a lower detail level. So it's better for the export. So the informations are the important uh, things in a IFC file. So now we do a number of article lists. So we evaluate our assembly group and now we see the result. So here we have a part list of all our yeah, different components, the standard parts, the screw joint and yes we have only two assembly groups but if you construct um, a big facade um, you have many assembly groups, different assembly groups with different and many um, different components and it's a big benefit to create such part lists. So in the next step we um, create a bar diagram with the mullion and the assembly group. So and here you can see um, yes for your um, work preparations you can also uh, generate bar diagrams including the assembly groups and the processings. So and of course we have um, much more functions for example here the export BIM, XML, SAT, ELUCAD export and so much more um, to evaluate your 3D construction here in Athena. And of course, we have so much more uh, powerful 3D functions, uh, 2D functions, 2D plus functions. And I'm very happy to show you this in our uh, next webinar streams here on um, our channels. And yes, so now we close um, our stream. Thank you for watching and we see us in the next time. And of course, you can write me, for example, on my LinkedIn profile. So. Bye-bye and have a nice day.